In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to digitize outline designs, otherwise known as red work. Watch till the end to learn how to create these awesome designs. Welcome back, Legacy Family. I missed you guys so much and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ken and I'm here to teach you all about digitizing and embroidery. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to create outline designs using the Design Doodler and I'm using a drawing tablet that is connected to my PC to show you how to create this design. By the way, the brand of the tablet is called Hueon. We're not sponsored by them, but we'll leave the Amazon link in the bio. This is the Design Doodler right here, and if you've never heard of the app before, it is pretty much like digitizing except with a pen. So this allows you to be super creative without needing to be a professional when it comes to digitizing, knowing all the rules and everything, it makes it super easy. You have your little wheel of tools right here that you can access, your brushes, your satins, your single stitch. I don't wanna overwhelm you with how many tools are available, so today we're gonna be sticking to one single tool, and that is going to be the single stitch run. So I'm gonna place that over here. On your left side, you have your save, your open buttons. At the bottom, you have some other tools. And on the right, you also have a couple other tools like the 3D view, the hoop, which you can move around when you use the hand down here. And you can zoom in using the one to one or one to six ratio, which we'll talk a little bit about later. If you guys are interested in trying out the Design Doodler for free, we have a free trial in the link in the description. Oh, and it also has an iPad companion, which you can take anywhere you want, but you still need a PC to run the main program. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is bring in the design. I'm going to click this window right here at the bottom and I can access my library. Now you wanna find a file that you want to create. And this is one that I created on Procreate super quickly. Please don't judge guys. I haven't been drawing as often as I used to, but I tried my best. So I'm gonna click this tool right here and this tool is going to allow me to then click on the image and drag to make it smaller. If you don't see your hoop, you can simply click up here on the top right and that will turn it on and off. Let me move the image right quick, right here, on and off. I'm gonna leave it on because I wanna make sure that this design is under four by four inches. Again, if you guys wanna change the size of your hoop, you simply click the three buttons at the, at the bottom right, you go under settings and under hoops, you can select a super wide variety of different hoops. For me, four by four is perfect, so I'm gonna stay at that. Now, if you wanna zoom in, you have two options. You can click one to one, which is over here on the right, one three ratio, and then one six ratio, which is pretty, pretty zoomed in, but we'll definitely be using that later, as well as you have the zoom tool, which is right here at the bottom, which you can then select and then tap to zoom in. I prefer to start using one to one, one to three, and one to six ratio. It just seems the best and the easiest to get used to. So, we're gonna click one to one, and if you select the select tool again for the image and select the image and you press the settings tool or the properties tool, you then get this thing right here, which allows you to bring down the opacity of the image. I want it to be a little grayed out so that I can actually see what's going on with the threads as I'm working on it, okay? Now that you press away from it and you select your, your tool, you will no longer be able to select the image. You're actually in draw mode now, so that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Again, I'm gonna go to one to over three ratio, and right here in this tool set, if you click on this part right here, this is the width of the single stitch. So for example, you can see the 4.5 millimeter spacing, over here is a different one. So I'm probably gonna stick to two millimeters. I kind of want to have this a little bit tighter for a design. I don't want the stitches to be a little too wide. So two millimeters is pretty good. And again, if you wanna know which tool I'm using, I'm using the run tool. I'm using the free hand, which is this one right here. And I'm using the two millimeter, which is the smallest one right there. Awesome. If you press on the hand, you can move around, pan around the whole screen, and 3D, I'm gonna show you right now, if 3D is enabled, you'll notice that the stitches look a little bit as if they were in real life. So if you take it off, you'll see more like this style, but if you turn it on, then it looks a little bit in the 3D mode, okay? So I'm going to select everything down here, delete that. Now, one of the cool things about red work is that it normally has two passes of single stitch or one pass of triple stitch. If you don't know what I mean by that, no worries at all. But basically, to create a super solid outline, like the way it looks in stitches, so you guys know how it looks very solid and give it, gives it that hand stitch look. What we have to do in most designs, let me just go for example, somewhere around this finger, is instead of just doing one pass, 
So for example, right here, I'm gonna do one single pass on this finger. My goal is going to be to not only have one pass of a single stitch, but then also find a way to return and have two passes to that. That way the machine is gonna go one, two, and that line is going to look super solid. And I'm going to teach you how to do this on this design. Let's get started. So select everything again. We can delete by pressing the X, no problem. And again, one to one, one to six ratio. If you haven't watched John Deere's tutorials, please do so because he really taught me how to use the one over six ratio. And it is such a beauty to work with and it makes digitizing so easy to make sure to click the playlist below to learn how to digitize from the beginning. The last thing I'm gonna do just so that we can see the difference where the colors that we're working on, I'm just going to switch on my palette. So again, you can click on this button right here on the right to show up your palettes or your palettes and you can even click here if you want to access even more colors so for example the most popular or one of the most popular Madeira Polynesian 40 you see how many colors are available very nice I'm just gonna stick to red because red is red work so <laughs> we'll stick to that for now and I can go one to one, but I think we're gonna work on one to six. Now, before I forget, the last tool that we're gonna have enabled is this one down here at the bottom left. What this allows me to do is, let's say I start creating this line right here, but suddenly I stopped right there and you're like, oh, like what's gonna happen here? Well, if you hover with your pen or your mouse closely, you'll see that there's like a little red dot right there and that means that you can continue that same line. That is really awesome because then it's not going to create a stop stitch. So instead it just continues and the program knows where you're going. Something like that, awesome. And if you see that we messed up like this, no problem because we can always fix it by simply clicking on this tool right here at the bottom and change these lines right there, get them a little bit closer together. So it looks perfection, okay? <laughs> Let's delete again one more time. I don't even know how many times we've deleted already, but it's all good. Now the next question is where should we start? I find myself that I like working clockwise or counterclockwise and I like to work from the outside in. So you'll see myself that I'm kind of going around the border and then when I find like a line, I will go inside. So let's say for example, I'm gonna start right here on this area. So we're gonna grab this tool again and let's get started. I'm gonna start sketching. I'm a little bit off, but that's okay. I'm still getting used to utilizing the pen. Uh, I'm used to like using mouse and all those lines and everything. So if we want, we can actually fix it up a little bit like this. Super simple, nothing too crazy. You see in a couple seconds, I'm done fixing that already. And same thing here, you can see that this one was a little bit this way. So I'm just gonna put it on that line as best as possible. Awesome, not to overcomplicate you guys, but you can see that as soon as I'm hovering on top of that, I can actually continue. It's not like it's going to stop and cut and trim and I'll do all of that. So we got the first thing where we have to return. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try my best to go all the way around this thing, something like that, and I'm going to return. Because we're in the one over six ratio, it does not have to be perfect. That is the beauty because when you go one to one, you barely see the difference. That is the beauty of it. So you don't have to be 100% perfect, but it does help if you wanna put it on top of each other. Guys, make sure you watch all the tutorials, okay? <laughs> Let's keep going. Again, I'm going to make sure that I have the red highlighted so I know that I've actually uh, selected that and that I'm continuing on the same line. So I'm just gonna go here now, perfect. Let's move around. Let's see what else can I do. I could probably go down this line right here. So you know what? Let's take care of that right now. So. Now I could definitely continue all the way down here and just finish this whole area. So if we really want to, let's do that right now. I will finish here, bring this one here, make sure I do it properly. I don't wanna be too sloppy with my design, but again, because we're working so zoomed in, it's no problem, it's not like it's gonna be noticeable, okay? so. I'm gonna just return and you know that this area right here, so this part right here has two passes. This right here has two passes. This only has one pass, so I need to make sure that I return that way. I'm going to now, if I want to keep going this way, but for the purposes of continuing and making sure that I'm good, I'm just going to return this way. So let's go back like this. 
and make sure that I'm back at two passes. Awesome. As far as I know, all of this part on the inside has two passes, but the outside of the actual sleeve only has one. Let's keep going. Again, I'm going to grab my tool and select it and make sure that I'm highlighting with the red. Go all the way up. Awesome. That was great. Keep going this way. I can actually finish this part of the finger right here. Awesome. Let's return right now like that. And again, if I see that it's a little bit off, no problem because we can just fix that super fast. But again, we're so zoomed in that in reality, the naked eye will not even notice that right there. Awesome. You can see that the outside of this design currently has one pass. And that's kind of what I meant where I like to go around the area and fill out the inside as I go. So keep going here. Let's create one pass, two pass. This one, because it's on the outside, has one, one, two. Awesome. Let's keep going. Let's do the, the little nail right here. One, two. Very nice. Let's keep going around the finger. And if we want to, we can actually do this one right here. So let's go all the way down here. One, two. We can fix that a little bit. One and two pass one pass and before I even do the second one I'm just going to fix this so it looks nice and pretty guys I just like to make sure that it looks good maybe it's the OCD kicking in I have absolutely no idea why <laughs> okay I need to have the lines perfectly I guess it's every digitizers uh, nightmare or something like that we just need to be perfection with it okay awesome that looks pretty good let's create this little nail great and let me just zoom out really quickly so I can show you guys what that looks like so far. If you click this button right here, you can hide and show your image. And you can see that the hand is starting to take shape. Obviously, the outside, like I said, is not being shown yet. But that's okay because we're still going. Again, 1 to 6. And now I know exactly what kind of ratio I'm working on. So it's not like I have to guess like, oh, what was my, my zooming settings before this? You know, you no longer have to guess when you stick to one type of ratio. So again, nail, close that nail because I'm going to return twice. Let's keep going down, down, down. And on this side, we don't actually have that. So looks like I'm going to have to do it from the other side. No problemo. Let's return now. Try my best to match that line. But like I said, we're so zoomed in, it does not matter. Guys, please let me know in the comments if I sound like a broken record. <laughs> I probably do. I just missed you guys so much and I haven't been making content like this in a while. So it feels super refreshing to, to talk to you guys. So again, go down. I want to make sure that here I'm just kind of like sticking to the outside. So I'll, I'll tell you guys in a second. I want to make sure that I'm like just hitting the outside perimeter so I don't get confused of where I'm going. But then again, guys, remember that, uh, you know, digitizing is not perfect. You're always going to be learning new things all the time. So practicing is your best friend. And ultimately, that is what's going to make you a better designer, a better digitizer and an artist overall. So oh, see right there, I actually missed a red dot, which was going to cause the application to create a jump point or a trim point. So just be careful for those. That way, uh, you won't mess up your design and your machine won't be creating any random jump points. Okay, I think we actually have a setting. So let's go to settings. Actually, no, not under settings. We should be able to see view commands. Cool. Actually, that's perfect. You can see the little scissor. Let me just go around to ensure there are no other scissors by accident. When basically scissors, it means that it's going to cut it and jump and trim and all of that stuff. Okay, so we're good. We caught that really nicely. So let's keep going. Finish off this finger like so. Let me just fix it up a little bit. Very nice. Something like that. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Now, I think I can finish this whole area actually. Let's go this way. I'll just finish this little area of the finger like that. Cool. Let's go through the inside first, just so I don't get confused. Go from the inside to outside. Okay, so go all the way down here. Go here. We can finish this area right here. And let's go up. 
one, two, because it returns. Let's go to the next one. One, two, because it returns. And let's return this whole little pinky finger all the way back to his house. All right, <laughs> cool. No scissors anywhere, doesn't seem like so, so let's keep going. Oh, let me just backtrack a little bit. That was a little too iffy. Cool, one, two, nice. Let's move back down. And you see we're actually going to end up on that line, so that's pretty awesome. Let's see if I can make this line good. One shot, one shot, one shot. Mmm, close enough, okay. One, and return, and one, whoop. The caffeine is getting to me, guys. One, two, and return. One, right. Well, actually, that's number two because we're returning now. And we've already done that whole other side of those fingers so we can finish it off right here. Go all the way back up there. Bada beam, bada boom. And now all of that inside is done. No confusion anywhere. Let's keep going through the outside all the way down this way. Ba, 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 ba. We just move around. Awesome. Let's take care of this little crack right here on the hand or crease. I don't know what to call it. Let's go here. Create this one. Awesome. One, two. Perfect. One. Oh, did I make a mistake? I think I might have made a mistake, guys. I totally forgot to do this one as I was working here. So, whoopsies. Like I said, it's never going to be perfect, but at least we try. So, I might do something sneaky over there. That's the beauty of when you create your own designs. You can do whatever you want. You can play around with it. So, let's see if we can fix that right now. I'm going to go here to the end. Awesome. Let's go outside now everything over there has a second path so that's awesome and what i'm gonna do is just close it like this finish this area right here and bring it back <laughs> well i guess you guys are gonna know that this is not perfect but you guys will keep a secret right finish it there and let's just make sure that these two lines are a little bit close together you know we're trying to make it look pretty very nice presentation always and forever okay so bring it back like that bring it like that that looks super magnificent let's go and you saw that even though i made a nice mistake whoa my hand was pretty shaky right there but it's okay we got this no problem awesome and then last one bring it down here boom and nice now because we worked from the inside out the last thing we gotta do is make sure that we can go all the way around back as clean as possible you can see this is so easy and now i don't have to think about it i don't have to be imagining oh like did i go through the inside did i go through this little crevice like what happened there is absolutely no guessing anymore all that's left to do is backtrace. And even on the embroidery machine, it looks really, really cool to see the backtracing. Oh, I really hope I didn't forget something. <laughs> I'm afraid that I forgot something and here I am acting all cool about uh, saying that I got them all, but I guess we'll uh, we'll find out. Again, this is all part of the, the uh, training, the practicing, so. I hope you guys, while you're watching this video, or as you decide to, you know, download the trial, which again, link in bio, make sure you guys try it out, try these settings out and see how it goes. I'm just gonna fix this right here, really quickly, awesome, just something like that. Ah, I don't really like how I made the thumb a little small, so let me fix that up super quickly. Something like that, yeah, that's better. Again, even though I'm working over the one over six ratio, I really don't need to be going so much into detail, but I, I like going into detail, so it is what it is. We play around with it, and let's keep going. Let's go here. Also, fun fact, did you know that red work was invented in the 19th century? I learned that from Google, so maybe I am wrong, but as far as Google tells me, that is when it was invented. And that is really awesome. And it is called one of the ageless types of art where like it looks super vintage, but it will never get old. And I love it, love it, love it so much. So let me move this. Actually, you know what? I keep forgetting that it's one over six, so it doesn't even matter. Let's just finish this little area. 
right here and boom we are done one to one look at that oh you can see there's two scissors so let me make sure that there aren't any scissors because we're so perfect we're so close to the end that there is absolutely no need to cut it right there so wow my hand really went off there <laughs> it's all good it's all good perfect awesome so now we should only have one scissor let's see how many scissors Two scissors still. Okay, I gotta go back. One more time. Okay, perfect. Now it looks like there's only one. Again, one over six. Let me move, 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 move. Perfect. And let's finish it up. Whoops. See, the thing about this pen is that it has a little button. So sometimes I click that press button by accident as I'm just trying to draw. So watch out for that when you guys do it yourself. Okay, cool. One to one. No more scissors. No more scissors. Awesome. We can get rid of the image. We can press that. And let's see, it should have the automatic tie on and tie off, which is perfect. And the last thing we want to make sure is that when we go under settings, if you guys find that your design is not automatically centered, then you can simply click the center design start and stop. Auto save design. That's awesome. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to click view slow redraw. And at the bottom, you guys see the slow redraw. So let's see that. Whoa, start, let's see, whoops, messing with the actual windows. You can see it's not jumping. That is the ultimate goal of red work and single stitch overall with any design, guys. Learning how to path your designs is super, super important. And John actually has a free digitizing cheat sheet and guide video. So if you guys haven't checked that out, make sure to click the link in bio because we teach you all about the simple skills on digitizing that expert digitizers should know. That's pretty much it. We're now done. The design is center. So the last thing to do is to save this design. I'm gonna click save and under save, I'm gonna put it on desktop. And what should we call this? Let's call it, did you pray today? Let me, well, I can't really save it as nothing. So it's just gonna be saved as design one. And for the export, we're gonna be exporting this as Tajima DST because that is what the machine reads. But if your machine reads brother, then you save it as brother, depending on what machine you guys have. I'm gonna click save. And now we can see the embroidery. Now I'm gonna show you guys what the embroidery and end result looks like. Enjoy. And there you go guys, check out the end result of this design. Wow, it looks beautiful and it's stitched out so fast. How many stitches? 1,000 stitches, but am I even surprised? Not really because this was well digitized, no jumps, no trims, one trim actually, and done so quickly. So hope you guys enjoyed learning how to create this red work design. We have so many more tutorials, so please make sure to comment down what you guys wanna learn next. Remember to download the Doodler trial by clicking the link below for your PC and even the companion for the iPad. And in the meantime, check out this video and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial. Bye bye, Legacy family. Hope you guys have a great day. Did you pray today? We'll see about that.